I think my favorite aspect of the show is that it may not be evident at first, but all of the villains, with the possible exception of the final one, which I won't spoil for you, yeah. have like a realistic motive. It's not, Mwahaha, I twist my mustache yeah. because I'm evil. No, no, there, there's actually a, a reason, and most of the time the reason is I want peace or something like that. Yeah. Something you would actually expect. Right now I'm... Uh, they aren't see. lazily written. The Toby just uh, yeah. summoned Madara. Oh, that's where you are. They're, okay. Like, they just, uh, they're fighting her right now. So then, the, my favorite example that you're up to is pain. Yeah. Like, it looks like a perfectly evil form, and then you find out, no, wait a minute, he's actually doing all this because he has a vision of world peace yeah. that involves... Unfortunately, unfortunately involves subjugation, but it's one of those means justifies the ends. Yeah. The, the world is complex, and the show sort of respects the audience enough to realize that they'll catch on to that. Yeah. And I appreciate it. I think my favorite character is probably Sishui. Come again? Uh, my favorite character is probably Sishui. I may not be getting the pronunciation. Um, Shis. Sishi. Which one is that? That's the one that uh, had the shine on the. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. know how to say his name either. That might very well be right. The the teleporter. Oh, I'm drawing. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, the teleporter one. We have. I mean, basic three. Oh. My eyes give me the power to teleport. Yeah, what? Yeah, Donzo got one of them, and then uh, the other one went into. Uh, yeah. Spoilers, God. No. Um, I guess. I'll oh, by the way, we didn't really determine this. Uh, um, I got it. I got it. Let's play poker. Okay. I have three ones and a high five. Yeah, it is. <laughs> a high five. <laughs> I'll take. You have two fours. One. Two, three, four. Uh, oh, you, dang, yeah. I guess it's sorry. You have so many close calls on straights with, with yeah. dice, only six sides. Um, so, in that case, and also before, what's the mulligan rule that we're using? I can give you like the tap start standard, or we can do the official rule. The official or, rule is uh, you just mulligan like normal, and then. If you did mulligan, then you scar one at the beginning. Yep, that's also. that's the the no, the official commander rule is now in line with the. Uh, I know. Yeah, didn't people the used to uh, yeah. mulligan like they do in Hearthstone? Or they do the Paris mulligan. That's correct. Yeah. And if you want to, we can do that, or we can do regular, or we can do whatever. It's up to you. I don't care. Let's do a dice even, normal <laughs> on Paris. Even. The normal, okay. I will shove this and go to six. Okay. Alright, what do you say? Yeah, six. <laughs> Fair enough. I really wanted to keep it because I had stasis in there. Oh, <laughs> you're one of those decks. Oh, no, by the way, no, you're good. it just ran in here because I like the color. <laughs> so, uh, we're doing, in case this weren't evident enough, we have anime, solo, sword art online versus, I'm trying to think of an anime pun for Derevi. Um, Let's just say Archimedes. I'm just not anime, but I'll go with that. Archimedes. It's Deveri. Derevi. Derevi. And then the internet just yelled at me for yeah. getting those letters back. I um. When I made the commander deck, I got finished making it and everything. Sure. And I went to look uh, for a card that I thought might be banned in it. Yeah. And it was like list of banned cards in uh, man, Derevi. And I got so sad, but it was the French. 1v1 yeah, it's just French. <laughs> it's weird how, I don't know if this is just for me or if it's certain search terms. What on earth is that? <laughs> but uh, sometimes the dual commander website, the French EDH, will come up before the regular commander will. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. It happens. I don't know. I don't keep. Know what it means. Uh, keep. All right. Let's see what I got for a scry. Let's not and say we did it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is this store? Um. <laughs> I'll keep. Okay. I, I feel like I shouldn't, but we'll make it work. 
Josh. What are we doing? Well, we're 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 I, I think we already did that. We did? Yeah. Uh, I'm still going first. Now, sad? Hinterland Harbor. Pass turn. So sad. As in like a week later, this other band came get out. Get in your card sleeve. We are what we Just tap, get one more. Okay, okay. Thing. That's, thing. That's respectable. <laughs> I respect that. Your turn. Pass turn. Mm -hmm. The first album in the half of it was good. T1 Glister Elf is sponsored by water. Drink more water. <laughs> Sorry. Classic. Uh, on the land. Top soaring. Top the island. Stasis. Okay. Uh, skips their end tap step. Fair enough. Um, your turn. Well, that makes things a little awkward. Cause I had a play. <laughs> and you have to pay blue to keep it around. So that means you're gonna go to three mana on this next one. Um, okay. I don't even think it's that. I don't remember. I think I still listen to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle soundtrack. Do 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 do. I was like twelve. That's like Rusty in his anime song. Yeah, forty eight fifty eight. Um, yeah, brother, cast Animar, Soul of Ark, and pass turn. <laughs> Soul of Elements? I don't really move him, he's just right next door, right next to where he lives. Um, pass turn. No one tap in. I'm sure there's a shenanigan to be had somewhere. Yeah, there's there's stuff in here. And me being like, not a metal I believe you. First tapped. Oh, your first band is Ozzy? Yeah. Um, first, awesome. like, first band, first concert, first metal, anything. Okay. And I left, I was like, <laughs> And that's the Seaside Citadel? Yeah. Good old Seaside. Okay. Well, that's. Yes, sir, that's yours. Huh, that's a thing. You got sidetracked. You said Green Day. <laughs> I think when it comes out of the lands, that's what this one is. Do you know I think I actually have one somewhere. I tried building an energy counter. No, go ahead. You've already started a conversation now. I was. Is there a non creature token you're building? Honestly, I was hoping you would try to counter it. Or play something to get rid of it. I think I have a it didn't work. <laughs> I got you. Um, I could take this a couple ways. I'm going to try it this way because I've never done it before. So I'm going to use this chance to experiment. We'll signal the clans. I'm going to search my library for three creatures. Unless you have force of will. Does this resolve? <laughs> uh, search my library for three creatures cards. Reveal them if they have different names. Then shenanigans. Um, then I can... I, one of them is randomly yeah. picked to go to my hand. So, ancestral statue. I don't. Did you add that recently? Uh, that's actually one of the original, one of the few originals in here. Um, I didn't know that. I'm not picking out these three. I'm picking out all my. Okay, those are basically the four. Um, and now I'm just debating on that. Let's see. Remember Dad telling me that? Because I said the same thing to Dad. Dad that I. What else is in my hand? Doesn't really make that much of a difference. So we're going to say. These are the three. In case you need to read them. Mana, mana. <laughs> you know what that does in Animar. Ancestral Statue reads, I win. Yeah. Um, just choose it random. Yeah. Just while I'm shuffling. Yo, dog, I heard you like shuffling, so I'm going to shuffle while you shuffle. <laughs> Bloom tender. Okay. And then the other two go back in. 
cast the bloom tender, put a counter on, swing one or swing two, and pass turn. All right. So we're we're skipping ahead just a little bit, and I'll get my phone out to use the uh, life counter in just a quick second. Um, pass turn. There you go. Just get my phone. Sorry. Right. You can hide your hand. It's fine. Well, I guess we want to turn the brightness up just a touch. People want to see. The people want to see. The people want to know. I speak for the people. So I'll make them the colors that are different for us. I think... Actually, I won't because white doesn't really show up all that well. All the, no, that really doesn't. Let's do something different. Derby's pretty, pretty blue. Make it that. And green's my favorite color, so... Ta-da! There you go. How many of these would you sir? One. Um... Hmm. Sorry. I have to run back out to get mine. What is Hunterland Hover? Oh, just, it's the one that has to have a, it's the blue-green buddy land. Okay. Nothing special. I will... One, two, three. Uh oh. Uh oh. Four, five. Acidic slime. Get rid of your mountain. Oh, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Fair enough. Yeah, blow up an artifact creature or enchant. I mean, enchantment or land. And yeah, okay. you don't want to blow up your soul. No. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> um, Seems smart. I. You're good. All right. I dig it. All right. We're going to start off with uh, Merchant of Scrolls. Comes into play, draws a card. It's Elvish Visionary. By the way, this is EDH. So, we start at 40, and you've taken one. You've taken two and gained one, right? Yeah. From Sejeri Refuge. Okay, so there we go. I'm not drawing yet. There we go. Hmm. Fierce Empath. Um, get another counter, and we will go and search for a creature with converted mana cost six or greater. You know what? We're fine with Sower. <laughs> Good old Oblivion Sower. What am I doing? Wait, wait. Before we finish that, <laughs> I'm going to save us a little bit of time. Uh, uh, Phantasmal Image, Fierce Empath. That's why. <laughs> yeah, on a scale of one to gross, how do you feel right now? Negative five. <laughs> yeah. Um. 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 He's going to let me draw four cards. And these are just in my hand. Mush fit. <laughs> then, yeah, go for it. I was already on my phone. Like your sleeves. Oh, they're literally the oldest sleeves that I still have. <laughs> um, five. Ooh. Are we playing touch and go? You know what? I already called it. I'm sorry. I already called it. Uh, um, 
Yeah. Yeah. My bad. Redirect. I know we're playing casually, but I still want to hold myself to stuff like that. Yeah. You know. Are you in a rush right now? Yeah, I know. My turn. Yep, your turn. Mm. I'll put Phantasmal Image and Fearsome Path together to show what they are. Uh, my goodness. Pro white and black. Pro white and black. Not green. Not how that works. Derevi? Hi, Derevi. Um, I will tap. Actually, I'll untap. Um, yeah, yeah that lands. makes sense. And then. Jokes on you, you don't have your death toucher anymore, girl. <laughs> I'm trying to be optimistic about this. Okay, okay. Okay, four. Uh, horsemanship, when he deals damage to an opponent, I uh, draw a card. Sure. Uh, this creature can't be bored. Yeah, Except by horsemanship. Yeah. It's an uh, interesting effect. Your turn. I'm surprised they didn't reprint him in uh, Kamigawa. Uh, I think the idea was that horsemanship made combat a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, according to Wizard. <sighs> I don't know what you Zendikar, Gatewatch, Shadows, Ghostman, Goblin. It's again. It'd be really cool if you had uh, this guy as your general, as your own commander. You played him. House turn. Yeah. And then you uh, had a buff deck and you just buffed him. And this can't be blocked. That would be sweet, yeah. Draw one. Yeah. Mm hmm. I will. When does this keep happening? Two. Three. Keeps trying to dance around in its sleeve. Four. Five. Mm hmm. Azami? Hi, Azami. Ooh, it's a bird wizard. <laughs> um. It's not a vigilant bird wizard, yeah. but it's a bird wizard. I'm going to. Swing. Luzin and Derevi, but yeah. unblockable. Yeah. Well, well, can't fine. do much about it. What would you like to untap? Or <laughs> tap yeah. or untap? Um, but presumably I, I know the answer to that. I untap. One soul ring and... <clears throat> it's a wizard. You get an extra card if you untap it. Yeah, that's what... I have two. I have one more. Oh, okay. Um, that's because I left it out for him earlier because he asked me to do it earlier. Oh, we're doing it now? Draw okay. Uh, Tuck Sorry. Simic Sigma. Sure. Um, Cards. Then. Uh, your turn. This would be a very different turn right now if I didn't derp. <laughs> we'll gain one life. Oh. Uh. No. Zealous conscripts. Okay. Nice. I will take control of a zombie. Do you have one of those? 
a wizard. <laughs> I do. It's very simple, the wizard, the elf wizard. Mm. Let's see. We'll do this now. Tap a zombie, draw a card. Tap merchant of scrolls. Wizard, draw a card. Combat. That's not how that works. We're not getting buffed that quickly. Mm, uh, uh, so we're swinging one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright. All right. And pass turn. No problem. Value. I will add two minutes of the pool. Mm -hmm. Pay one of them, so one floating. I get two. Sure, so three mana. Pay the three. Shaman. I can tap Shaman. and add two mana of any colors to my mana pool. And then you've got a biorhythm effect going on. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Then I will. Yeah. Biorhythm is banned in EDH. That card's not ban worthy though because it can never drop you below one life. Yeah. Because you always have one creature. Although the no no that's wrong because the opponent could have no creatures. And that would be a little trickier though. You have to make it like indestructible then wrath the board. <laughs> Speaking of which, here it comes. What else? Uh, what else? Oh yeah, go get a forest and put it into play. Yeah. Sure. Take your time. I know that card. I like that card. Yeah, it's January, and you know how hot it is outside. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, who knew it was going to be 75 degrees in January? 75 oh, no, Fahrenheit. Isn't it usually get 75 degrees when we lease the temperature? Yeah, but... Ay, ay, ay. Global farming. I mean... <laughs> Where is it? I thought I had one in here. Yeah, it was on the ground for like a week. Tropical Island? No. A, uh, this is a common tapped dual land. That, oh, wait, never mind. They don't come as forced. Sure. Oh. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, it doesn't come in tapped. Uh, what else? Unless you're tapping it for something now. Um, yeah, that's one reason why this is so good. It only comes in tapped if the base card itself does. Ta da! Boink. Thank you. Then... <sighs> <sighs> Let's... Swing for... One, two, three... Three... Alright. Yeah, not much I can do about it. I'll take three. And then I get to untap two. Trigger on the stack, tap a zombie, and then untap these two. So you get three draws. Because it'll be one, and then they're untapped, and yeah. I'm helping my opponent out. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> yeah, that would be... I think that's... Yeah. And then... I have... Two minutes. No one say I'm trying to be a bad dude. It is. We still tell stories about it. There's one. Then the Horn Elves. Yep. Uh, from the vault. Nice. Fiend uh, Horn. Pass. Okay. I'm going to get all this situated here. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You have no cards exiled, right? Uh, no. Technically, uh, no. I like that. 
Uh, let's play an Oblivion Sower. Okay. So when I cast it, I'm going to make you exile the top four cards of your library. Right. <laughs> I'm just going to go MTGO style and put my Bloom Tender down with my lands. All right. Just for room. To save on that. So what I hit? Oh, <laughs> okay. And now I will. You know how the rest of that works. I get to put any number of land cards you own from exile onto the battlefield under my control. So uh, those are gone. And then I have an evolving wilds and a temple of the false gods. I'm just gonna crack the evolving wilds. So put that in your graveyard. And there's a temple here. Let's not forget that that one's yours. <laughs> um, Cracking it now, just so that we can not have to worry about that later. Yeah. Let's say... Uh, forest. Really? Let's see, nah, let's get an uh, island. An island. Yeah, that makes more sense. Well, this deck uses a lot more green than its other two colors. So, yeah, that's the... That's the main reason. Um... Now that I'm here, doing what I'm doing, boink, see what other spicy plays I might have. Merci, monsieur. Um, Okay, back that up. I live near being uh, <laughs> I thought that's what you said. Oh, you threw your poison there in water. Thanks, thanks to us. Well, I'm, okay. I'm gonna gain a life. I'm over by the Tony. That's hard. We do you know what I have to do? Uh, we're supposed to, but we're, if you're an employee there and something does fit. I do actually have a play. I, I'm legitimately thinking about this one. Animar players don't think. What are you talking about? Our combo turns. <laughs> this is part of why I play Animar, actually. I love doing stuff like this. I really do. It may seem silly. <laughs> Hey, one? Yeah. You have served your purpose well, Oblivion Sower, but you're gone. Wretched Griff. Hmm. Emerge, of course. Draw a card. Ah, uh, you know, that's fine. That was correct. Scary. And then I will pass the turn. I know the stereotype is that Animar players don't think, but part of the reason I play the deck is I love the combo turns. Yeah. Okay, two, one. Enchant player. Whenever a creature attacks a enchanted player, put a plus one. Plus one. Ooh, come on! Get a little fox action in there. Come on! A little... Uh, at least get two white from this. Two white, yeah. Fair enough. In any combination. Creature task. Let's do the blue. Flicker Wisp. Flicker uh, Animar. Did you just pay four mana for that? Uh, no. The One, two, two three, four. This... I, I cast this with... Uh, with Soul Ring Forest. Yeah. And then you, oh, okay. you tapped an extra. Yeah. I don't know why I'm telling... I do know why I'm telling you all this. I'm trying to be... Okay, so we're flickering... Yeah. Uh, he's not a lethal target. No. No. Ex exile another target permanent. Protection from white. Yeah. Okay, well, in that case... Does that mean if a card is... Uh, Pro-white, it can't be targeted. Color. Yeah, so if one of its colors is white, then it can't work. You can do something else if you like, or target something else. I'll, um... Hmm. Yeah, that's that's why I was getting on to myself earlier. He's pro-white, and I swung into a green creature because... Derp, yeah. I guess. Yeah, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. In that case... What did I say? Yeah. Um... Yeah. 
So this is still floating white white, by the way. Uh, yeah, can I just Yeah, yeah, take it back. Uh, let's do that white blue. Oh, okay. Turn that to your hand. Gain two life. Yeah, that you do. Whoops. And... I know, way too often. Okay, three, one total. Fly, flash, find it. Death touch. touch, yeah. Um, hmm. I'll see. I think that might have been better held up as a combat trick, though. Like if I swung with Animar. Because it has flash, so. Yeah. Now it's a little late, so it doesn't matter, uh, yeah. but. Yeah. yeah. Like some flying ambush viper or something. Yeah. Let's see. Run! Oh! Um, uh, let's see, do you have flying? No. I I, not flying. anymore. Uh, swing for horsemanship. Flying. Alright, so hit me for three. Uh, actually, hit me for five. Curse gradation. And no flying, so can't block. You'll draw a card and untap two permanents. In response, I'm assuming you want to. Um. Yeah, so first, we'll take the damage, and then... Trigger on the stack. Trigger. I'll tap the and draw a card. Oh, you don't want to forget to draw for Lu Zen, either. Whatever. Because he's, you get to draw a card off him. So now I still can untap two permanents. Yep. I'll untap oh. the soul ring. Okay. Okay, dark steel, soul ring. Well, you you get to untap something else as well while you're at it. So that's you're untapping soul ring and what else? Um, so far just soul ring. Well, you you do have to do these both at once. I you do? can't oh, play okay. a spell during the resolution oh. of a spell or ability. As far as CPO methods go, okay. Now there you go. So you've got the floating off soul ring and then the seaside citadel. Um, mirror entity. Oh, it just got real. It just got real. I know where this is going. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, serious time. One green. One green. Two of eight. It's three mana. Yeah. Creatures. There are three threes? Wait. Oh no, you can't you have to use this to cast creature spells and that wouldn't be casting a creature. That's right. Sorry. In that case I'll just uh, keep these up and uh, your turn. Okay. Time to go off. Or else I'm dead, I think. Okay. You ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Okay. So we're gonna morph. Okay. Counter. I don't think you can one shot me. I'm at 34 health and have plenty of blocks. You say that until I get lightning bolted. We are going to. Man. One two. Ooh, that's interesting. Actually. If you want, she did. You saw me do it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, we're going to make everything. These are green, so we have. Green, 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 blue, blue, two, two, or colors, colors, floating. We're going to make that blue, actually. So these are, are blue mana. Yeah. So we're going to play Great Whale, which only is going to cost us three mana. We're going to use colorless out of this, and blue, blue. So there's blue, blue, green, green, colorless still floating. It untaps seven lands. Oh, no. So I still have five mana floating off of that. I'm not anywhere near done. 
merchant scroll is going to go ahead and cast. Like um, tap all your lands for double. Ready for infinite mana? Yeah. Whatever Time for Palinchron? Mm -hmm. So, you know how this one works, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, so for, for the audience, I'm going to pay two mana for it, but I'm floating, I'm tapping seven lands. Now, two mana to cast it because of Animar, and then four to bring it back. But each time I do this, normally I'd gain seven. I'm actually gaining eight from Temple, but I can just switch it to Rugged Highlands. So I'm going to get infinite mana, and infinite, infinite storm on Animar. So I have infinite mana of every color I could use. I'm going to end this loop with Plinkron in my hand and all of my lands untapped. Okay. Still infinite mana. Um, Ethereum Horn so Sorcerer. We're going to play it, Cascade, return it to my hand. Play it, Cascade, return it to my hand. Play it... Da, 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 da. There's a Kiki Jiki in here. Kiki Jiki Zealous Conscripts Splinter Twin. You. I'll show you the Kiki Jiki. Right. Um, because so it, it would be Council Genesis Hydra. I can refuse to cast it. Put it on the bottom. Finhorn, Wall of Blossoms, Conduit of Ruin, Cloudstone Curia, or Conduit would not actually. Um, Cascade lets me reveal cards on the top of my library until I hit a non-land card. CMC lower than its, and it's yeah. six, so five, yeah. five or lower. And Kiki Jiki happens to be five, so there's Cloud, or Cloud of Fairies, Fortune Thief. Do you put any of the, you put them into I put them onto the field. And then, okay. yeah. So you don't even there's have to Kiki pay Jiki. with your so, Yeah, exactly. So I'll have, my whole board is taken up now with yeah. everything in the deck that's applicable. And I'll Kiki Jiki Zealous Conscripts, <laughs> infinite stuff, and, you know, for lulls, we're going to take your uh, Curse of Predation just so my creatures get that one bit bigger. No, in all seriousness, that's that's key, that's uh, Animar for you. I don't think you can kill me this turn. Well, let's not forget that that one's yours. And then... Woo! <laughs> okay. And by the way, the morph was a Rattleclaw Mystic. Yeah. Um, you know, in case that mattered. I, I guess I do have to reveal that. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have another deck. It's not this stupid. I promise. Cross my heart. I like... Uh, I like Animar. I was thinking of going Animar, but... Okay. Can we do one more then? Uh, yeah. Sure. Alright.